Carro. Hello, my Capricorn friends. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your reading for December 13th through 19th. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Whoa, too many. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Justice, fair and just decisions, do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. So there's decisions that people are making out of fear. And there's a call from the divine to do what you know is right in circumstance and situation, even if you feel that you don't have the confidence to move forward with it. Let's get more clarity. There's some sort of need to have the confidence to call a spade a spade. Hangman mode. Asking the divine for clarity, not sure exactly what to do. Maybe you've been put in the old hangman tree until you find that clarity. But in some aspect, it's self-imposed. You don't have to hang around and wait for others. There's an opportunity coming in, might seem small, might seem insignificant, but it's communication about money, which is good. Good communication. It could be dealing with a Virgo. I just saw the Five of Cups, not seeing the positive in this circumstance. Oh, look at that, very nice. You've gone through all of the sword cards and now you're getting an opportunity. It's a very challenging beginning but it will bring about victory. There's a real need to speak the truth here. Speak your truth, speak it out loud. I think your own confidence that is, it's like the, or the lack thereof that is trapping you is fear that you can't do it on your own in some way. More going on here than meets the eye. There's so much unknown about how someone thinks, feels. It's like you're walking down a path and you can't see what's coming next. But I'd have to say that Divine's got you that in that energy on purpose. It's so you're, you heighten your intuition. Yeah, you're feeling very apprehensive, even defensive, I would say. You've built so much and you're very protective of it. These nine wands behind this guy here, he's bloody, battered, and bruised, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to protect what he's built. There are psychic insights coming to you. I believe the divine's going to come down and bring an opportunity for you to chop you, whomever's in the hangman tree out of it. <clears throat> A tower moment coming could be within the justice system. And you're going to be juggling a lot really fast. So communication is coming. And it's very well could be a tower moment for you. Brand new beginning. And you need to find your center of balance within it. An ending. An absolute ending. The death card. Transformation. This tower moment is about to transform things. And it's the divine coming in, this angel coming in with a sword to cut out the crap. You know, it's like. And there will be celebration based on it. I think something's going to move very quickly here. And in some sort of way, it's going to set you free. There's healing to be had. The divine wants you to be patient with yourself. Work on your health. 
Perhaps there's a third party interference into some plans that you'd had. And I don't know, someone with these cards here could be in depression, severe depression. And they may feel like they just want to end it. But I would like to tell you that there's so much hope and there's so much love out there for you. With this angel coming in to cut out the crap, anything that doesn't serve you, that's a big deal. Archangel Raguel. This is the fool card that's crossing you is taking the leap of faith to do it on your own and to have confidence while you're doing so. You don't want to take the leap of faith blindly. That's what it is. You're willing to take a leap of faith. You've got no problem with it, but you will not take it blindly. There's certain people, things, situations that you don't really want to cut out of your life because I think you feel there's this need and necessity. I would, they're, they're feeling the same thing. That's what I'm getting. So no one will stand up and speak what needs to be spoken. passionate opportunity starting here very passionate opportunity the truth being spoken brings about a pro see this is such a beautiful opportunity for you to use what you've your gifts your talents what you've created to move forward i think you're very concerned about manipulation you're concerned that someone's in it to win it on all types of levels and where does that leave you see this is the manipulation card communication that rocks your world and it's like they someone's not backing down that could be you that could be them but someone's not backing down you want to have faith in the circumstance still there is a victory coming your way you'll be recognized for this victory i just saw the queen of pentacles sitting well with your money being very nurturing you could be around, like I said, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Good news is coming, moving away from rough waters to calm waters, and it's really an offer, an opportunity, or something that you can take to the bank. Like, it's not a small thing for you. So that's very good. All right, let's pull a postcard from Spirit. We have, dear, dear you, it might be hard to believe you'll ever get where you want to go, feel the way you want to feel, and find peace and security, but you can. Wow, how prominent is that? There's lots to celebrate in this life, but first you need to let go of this attachment to achieving certain results. It is easy to get caught in the endless loop of wanting this or that so you can feel safe. The only way out is to surrender the attachment. Empty yourself so you can be filled with something new. The compulsion will be lifted and peace will come. Trust that something better awaits. That something new will open up and you will see new opportunities for fulfillment. The truth is, whenever you get into the loop, what you are really looking for is spirit. That connection is where the power, the peace, and the purpose lies. Everything else follows after that. Give yourself a hug. We've got you. So the divine knows that you're struggling. They, they know that you're in fear about certain things and that you're dealing with certain others that are in the same energy. There's a passionate opportunity that's really come in that kind of changed the trajectory moving forward. And I think it's about uh, calling a spade a spade at this point in time because there's too much unknown and, and you feel like you need to know what's happening next. A tower moment is going to bring an ending to something, but it's going to help heal. This is your energy. You may very well feel almost like a bipolar whiplash going on. Okay, I have, I honor how I want to feel. So understanding that your feelings aren't happening to you, you're choosing them. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Would that be yourself? True healing occurs when I give my permission, myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So whatever circumstance you're in right now, it doesn't necessarily have to do with the right now. You could have feelings coming up, triggering a response from when you were a child even. 
So try and look into what your feelings are and why you're feeling the way you are, especially truly, if there's no reason for you to be feeling that way. I know I can see that you want to move forward, but it's like something has got to stop or end or die off before that movement forward happens. It's going to create absolute transformation. And it's coming straight from the divine with the justice card. They've got you. They've got you. Trust, hope, and faith, my friends. Trust, hope, and faith. I love you guys. I hope this resonates, and I'll talk to you again soon.